So my dudes, Valkyr, and today I'm going to be talking about a tier list that has came out from the CN community. Now, I know I normally don't talk about tier lists, but the thing is, it's nice to have a little bit of validation after fighting the battle that I fought. So, apparently, I'm not too kept up with tier lists in the tier list world. The tier list is actually from a very um, well-liked tier list maker. I'm not entirely sure too much, but I do want to go over it because there's a lot of stuff I do agree with it and a lot of stuff I don't agree with it. Now, to make this video not super, super long, I'm going to be talking about just the first two tiers, Tier 0 and T1. I'm going to be showing it now on the screen. Keep in mind, I'm going to show it briefly before we cut back to the right and staring deeply into your soul because of the way I upload it. Like I said, I can put images in it, but it's going to look really bad. It's going to do really bad quality and it's not doing justice to a tier list. So... If you want to follow along, you can go ahead and check in either the pinned comment or description of the video. I should have it in both, and I'm going to be giving my opinion. So, this tier list is really well made. It has the constellation at which they rate each unit, and we're going to go be going one by one. So, with the first line, if you guys don't know the way the lines are, it is main DPS, sub DPS, and support. And we're going to be going through each one. To nobody's surprise, at... T0, the top tier, and main DPS, we have Ganyu and Hu Tao. I agree with that fully. T1, we have Xiao, Yula, Child, Ayaka, and C2, Raiden Shogun. So, the only change I would make here is I would move Child down, because I think Child needs C6 before he really shines, and they have him at C0 here. Obviously, there's no C6 units here. Um, I think Child really needs to be like C6 to be a main DPS option, but I might be misunderstanding it. I think Child is a fantastic enabler, and I think he's a fantastic sub-DPS, but as far as main DPS, I might be misunderstanding exactly what they mean by main DPS, but for me, I think I don't think Child's that good as a main DPS option. So now, the next one is sub-DPS. At T0, they have Sing Cho and Kazuma. I agree with those two up there fully. And then at T1, they have Venti, Mona, Child, C2, Raiden, Albedo, and Shingling. Now, the only change I would make here is if a C6 Shingling, I would move her up to T0. Because Shingling is really, 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 really good. So then, the next one is Supports. Now, here's the big one that's going to blow everyone's minds. So, you have Bennett, Zhongli, and Kazuha as S-tier Supports. So, no shocker there to anybody. But... You have one little addition right there at the top tier of the game in support category, a C0 Raiden Shogun. Who could have seen this coming? I, I do want to gloat a little bit about it, but at the same time, I'm going to try to keep on track. If you guys don't know why Raiden is so highly coveted, it's purely for her support capabilities and the Abyss. You cannot see her support capabilities until you are running the Abyss, but once you realize what she does for your team and for your damage... Whew, is she good. So, I fully agree with that. I agree that Raiden is right where she belongs there. Even at T1, if I think back to T1, the main DPS option, C2 Raiden, she's kind of limited by her cooldowns, but it's very mitigated because it's only 11 seconds. You can easily do an 11 second rotation at C2. It's it's not as bad as, it, as I think it is, but it's definitely, to me, she's like on the teeter-totter of T1. But back to support real quick. As support, I think she is definitely T0. I think she's one of the best supports in the game, hands down, in my opinion. So, I'm glad to see have a little bit of validation on that one. Because, man, it's been a battle. And then, in T1, we have Venti. The reason Venti is not in top, top tier is because Venti is very polarizing. Venti is either the best support in the game, without a shadow of a doubt. Because he's going to trivialize any floor that has small mobs. Or he's entirely useless. One of the two, never in between. That's how Venti works. Um, then you have Mona, Diona, Sucrose, Jean, Albedo, Singcho, and then Sara. I agree with all of this. Because I don't think, yeah, Sara right there they have at C2. So Sara at C2 is when she becomes functional. At C6 is whenever she gets her crazy damage spike. So that's basically the tier list. That's my tier that's my thoughts on the tier list. Like I said, I would move Shingling up. I might move Child down for main DPS option, and Raiden's right on the teeter totter of main DPS option. Raiden's a fantastic sub DPS at C2, but at C0, she mostly shines as one of the best supports in the game due to what she enables your team to do. I've got a lot of videos covering it. I don't need to ramble on too much like that. 
But I wanted to share this tier list because apparently a lot of people are now starting to realize how good Raiden is. And the <laughs> my battle is over. My fight is over. I have won. <laughs> no, it never was about that. I just wanted to try to get people to realize exactly what she's good at and what she's good at. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this tier list in the comment section below. Like I said, I, for the most part, agree with just about everything on this tier list, except for those two things. I think Shanling should go up and Child should go down. Other than that, I agree fully with this tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.